Hey gang, how's it going? Big John from on tap mobile app. Anyways, I wanted to get with you today. Well, guess what? We waited for it. It's here. If anybody in Michigan calls it the Bay, we can call it BA Expo Edition Stout, maybe? I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. It's a damn good beer from what I hear, so I'm pretty excited to try this one. Uh, anyways, Russian Imperial Stout from Bell's. Uh, I don't know. I had the one last year. It's pretty good. I was hoping better than that, but we'll see what happens with this one here. Uh, I, I really liked it a lot, but it was for the weight. It wasn't really what I really wanted at that point in time. I thought it was really good, but it's a new year. Let's see what they got going on. Like everything can change. We'll see what happens. I wouldn't throw the other one away. They're a really good beer, but um, anyways, uh, as you know, Bell's, it's in uh, Kalamazoo. It's kind of like the godfather of that uh, that area, I guess you would say. It's 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 a big, you know, heavy hitter um, as far as if you go to if you if you're going for craft beer, obviously if you're going through Kalamazoo, you're going to go to Bell's. It's a no-brainer. Um, great great beers, great food, great good times there. Uh, but anyways, like I always say, I can sit here for endless hours and tell you bunch of garbage or we can try this also stay tuned after i'm done because i got a, i got a good deal on uh <laughs> winning one of these winning multiple of these winning some maybe some black note from last year and some ba bay <laughs> so just listen to the whole podcast see what you think stay tuned um and like i said We'll, uh, we'll let you know how to enter that. But right now, let's get to the beer, shall we? It's pouring good, pouring good, guys. I tried to let this warm up a little so I got a little carbonation even though I poured it slightly on the side there. You know, you don't want to drink your stouts uh, cold. So what I, I do, it's kind of weird, is I'll drink it, but when I drink it, I usually will do a frosted mug, which is banned in a lot of places, but I let that get to room temperature. I've got to try to control all my factors for the taste. Let everything get to somewhat, not quite room temperature, but very acceptable. Like you know 52 degrees I would say this one was at all right there it is let's see what we got let me show you what I have on the head Woo! <laughs> yes looks beautiful doesn't it all right if you can't tell I'm a little excited about this one I'm hoping it performs I heard it was a lot better than last year like I said last year's was very good but for the hype, it did knock my socks off, but I'd still give it a nine last year. I didn't think it was, uh, on a scale of one to 10, I didn't think it was past that. So we'll see what happens here. So, see what I smell. Wow. I'm smelling a lot of cocoa in there. I'm smelling a lot of caramel, maybe. And actually, I'm smelling a little bit of nut to it. I always do this. This is, this is a big John thing here. I bite the head. I don't know, maybe I'm Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne. He'd probably be on my speaker in the back a minute, but we'll see what happens. I get a lot of flavor out of that. Wow. There's more chocolate than I expected, which I would have freaking like. Dessert beers are one of my favorites. Um, anyways, uh, I guess uh, let's do that. I sniffed it, I bit it like Ozzy, and now let's drink it a little bit. All right, let's say I have a little taste. Wow, holy crap. I gotta try another sip of this. This is what I wanted last year. And it wasn't, like I said, bad last year. This is worth every, all the hype, everything, the weight, phenomenal. <laughs> I just, I can't believe it, it is great. I'm just, I'm just so happy with this beer. Um, I wish I had more. I'm giving some to you guys though, so that says something, but you know what? With our word, 
we can pass it on. Other people can enjoy more beer, so it's kind of like a little bit of a sacrifice. I'll still have a couple. Big John's not stupid. He's going to keep a couple of them for himself, but I've pretty much given my majority away. At least um, I'm keeping about 30% for myself, so 70% is going away. But you know what? I'd rather have somebody new into it, somebody who really loves it, somebody that's going to be like, damn, this is great beer. Um, hold on. i got to drink a little bit more of this. I normally don't do this, but this, this beer is freaking fantastic. I don't know what to do, man. I, I tell you what, guys. I mean, guys and gals, this beer here. Can I can I renege on that whole thing about giving some away? I mean, come on, no. I'm gonna do what I gotta do. But listen, huh. it's gonna be hard. It's like prying it out of my hands here. This is this is a good, well, not great, an excellent beer. So, on a scale out of one to ten, it's a ten, man. That's a, there's no. If fans are bought, this beer is a 10. If you like des dessert beers, if you like chocolatey beers, wow, it is great. And like I said, it has a little bit of nut in it, in it too. That's kind of cool too for that roast kind of finish to it. I mean, it, I don't know what to say. Like I said, I mean, if I was going to pair with anything, I would say, like I said, maybe uh, like a chicken, lightly breaded, like pink owl, bread, cr bread crumbs, and maybe a salad with it. Cause it's a thick beer um <laughs> geez i just wish i had more of this beer um but anyways look up the details this is what's happening so pay attention there's a lot of details